what's going on guys welcome back to cheeky crypto i am jb and today guys we're going to do something a little bit different it is of course sunday and on sunday we have the weekly close positions for everything really here in the crypto space so i thought you know it may be interesting to have a look at a few weekly close positions what are you know of interest to me this week have a look at a few a few key things that are going on um, with these positions and yeah everything surrounding it so something a little bit different i hope you guys enjoy it if you do smash the like button subscribe tap on the bell selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video coming to you from cheeky crypto and as we can see on the screen here titled um bear and bull let us know guys overall do you feel we are still in the bear market or has the bull run began obviously we can see widespread across the likes of x you know all these social platforms everyone is calling the, the bull market is in play now i am very much of the side that we are still within the bear market i do still expect lower prices very much against the narrative you know it's kind of frowned upon i, I don't personally care just now i still expect to see lower prices Ma the macroeconomics maybe you know before we get into the video i'll give you my feelings on what's going on i think the world is in such a, a volatile place right now outside of the crypto sphere that I cannot foresee how we could possibly be in a bull run. The everything that's going on around the world, I've covered it previously, you know, we're talking the likes of wars that are still going on that are maybe still not started. The state that China is in financially, China really look into this one. China is in such a bad place financially. And of course the, the state that America is in. We're you know, we're we're going to see the money prints turned on again soon. There's talks of a pause potentially, there's not going to be another um, rate hike this year. That does not spell good things to me personally i think it's potentially going to drag out everything that is going on so overall my my personal thoughts are you know the, the financial landscape is not in a great place and that you know embeds my bearishness on this market as we are that we are still within this bear market the bull run has not began and you know it's a little bit time yet until we do see the narrative flip but please do let us know your thoughts and your opinions where we are sat in the market has the bull run began are we off to the races or is this the biggest fake out we are likely to see? I personally think this is a huge fake out, grabbing all these short positions that have been set out within the 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 the, the bear market that we are in, and you know we're going to see these prices tank. But that's my thoughts, my opinions, which everything in today's video will be. Please do remember that I'm not a financial advisor. I cannot give you financial advice. Seek a financial advisor if it is financial advice that you do need. But let's stop rambling, guys. I know I have rambled. And we will jump into today's video where we can take a start off here looking at Bitcoin. Bitcoin's very interesting this week. Obviously, we have seen quite the push to the upside. However, I don't think it is ex as exciting as it looks. We can see over the past what well, few weeks here, we have seen a 22% push to the upside, which is fantastic. But we have to note a few key levels. So first of all, coming here at 31,804 on this Binance weekly chart, we would have to, in my opinion, see this level broke to be flipping bearish, eh, bullish. However, even at that, I still don't think that is the level that needs to be broken. We can see we are pushing up towards this level and it does look likely we may hit this level. When we come down the charts here onto the daily chart, we can see the potential here. This has obviously been available for our members down in Discord for quite some time. Um, I think this one was charted up here 24th of June 2023 that we were in this potential ABC to the upside in this white sea wave of this white sea wave still within the potential b wave here now obviously we have been monitoring this um fair value gap sorry the cme gap that has been left from friday 6th of may to monday 9th of may between thirty four thousand two hundred forty three dollars and thirty five thousand two hundred fifty eight dollars potentially we are on the push to the upside here to see this when we look at it through the lens of smart money concepts we do have the week high on the chart and on the one day time frame we are pushing higher than the 21 ema the 50 ema and the 200 ema we are also above the one day equilibrium all of these are telling us we, you know bullish signs here when we do look down at the stochastic rsi though the daily is now heavily overbought looking for that correction and we have to take note of the volumes that are coming in on the charts here guys there is absolutely no volume across the last few months here for bitcoin we can take note over to here at the start of the year we had considerable volume and all we have had here is no volume coming in but the price you know Arguably the price trading sideways, yes we have seen these pushes to the upside but there is little to no volume in the price action. So potentially we are looking for the push up here to 31,933 to 33,864 with the potential obviously hitting this CME gap. 
when we come down to another look at the daily chart, this is the one that I think is most likely to be in play here. Not something you use very often, being a head and pattern, a head and shoulder pattern, but we can see the previous, um, the left shoulder high here at thirty-one thousand dollars exactly on the Binance chart. We could see the price action push on up to here, giving us the second shoulder, the right shoulder. Where from here, guys, we will be expecting a considerable breakdown for the price action for Bitcoin, with the headline coming at thirty-one thousand eight hundred and four dollars. This is the most likely scenario, in my opinion, that we are obviously pushing up in this right shoulder. <coughs> Excuse me. Pushing up in this right shoulder with this WXYX and Z pattern, purely a corrective pattern, where from here I am expecting a push to the downside, where we can obviously look at the target here between $22,170 and $20,192. But we're going to look at the weekly close position and what is interesting here. Well, first of all, we can see, once again, we are pushing above the 21 EMA, the 50 EMA, and the 200 EMA. Respectively, these are yellow for the 21, red for the 50, and 200 is in white. So we are pushing higher than these EMA levels. But what else we can look at here that I think is very interesting? First of all, we can look at the Gaussian channel. Currently, we are pushing higher than the upper band of the Gaussian channel. The upper band here at $28,656. The bears are going to want to keep this level above um, the Gaussian channel high here for the weekly close position. Once again, $28,656. The bears want to, uh, sorry, the bulls want to keep this higher. The bears will want to drag this down. I think ideally the bears will want to bring it lower than the 21 and the 50 EMAs, coming in here at 27,533 for the 21 EMA and $27,014 for the 50 EMA. I do find it highly unlikely we'll see the prices come back down here over the course of the next what 12, 13 hours at time of recording this video, but we can take note of these levels. That the bulls will want to try push try keep it higher first of all than 28,656. The bears trying to bring it lower. The bulls may want to try and break that 31,804 level to give overall a bullish pattern that you know we're off to the races going forward. When we bring on some liquidity, we can see where liquidity is sat. Currently, we have pushed up into a bit of a liquidity block between 30,000 um 268 with a high of 30,596 failing to close out this liquidity block so far. So we can see that the levels are looking to be met here. When we bring it back down to the daily chart, obviously we can see the liquidity would come back into this area once again, where we can see the push slightly higher up towards this fair value gap. So overall, we can see the fight between the bears and the bulls is going to be very intense this week. Zooming in once again, just before we come off of the Bitcoin chart here, where the bears and bulls are sat, it's going to be a very, very volatile day indeed, I do think. Overall, I think the market is on a fake out. This is a push to the upside. Failure to break this 31,804 um, level on Binance, I do think, is a very bearish sign indeed, which would then reaffirm that we are in this push to the downside. Overall, the head and shoulder pattern would be the play and we would be looking at a $22,000 potential target for Bitcoin. But that's all I have for the Bitcoin chart for this weekly close. We can see the targets for the bears and the bulls. Let us know in the comments down below, guys, where you think this one is going to rest. Who's going to win this one, the bears or the bulls? It's going to be very interesting indeed. So for the second one today, it's a bit of a different look on Ethereum. Now, Ethereum's obviously got absolutely no search volume online just now. Nobody's really interested in Ethereum. Personally, I don't. Um, invest in Ethereum. I hold Ethereum, but I use that for other sources, the likes of NFTs and, you know, playing games online and stuff. But we can see once again, there is a fight here between the bears and the bulls. Some interesting key levels. Once again, we have the 50 EMA in red, the 21 EMA in yellow, and the 200 EMA here in white. So we can initially look at the, the bears versus the bulls fight. We have the 200 EMA here at $1,588.01 currently. We are trading at $1,000. 631. So currently the bulls are winning this fight. They may want to bring it up to test the 50 and the 21 EMAs here, coming at $1,702 and $1,744. So we can see the clear push here that the bulls want to do. They want to bring this price higher up. However, the bears will want to bring this closed um, down below $1,588. Once again, it does look like the, the, the bulls are winning this fight, but it's going to be very interesting to do see what happens overall. We can note the positions of the stocks and the RSI are quite low here on Ethereum, but overall it's going to be an interesting fight. Once again, we can bring on the Ethereum Gaussian channel. Not one that we actually look at at all here for ETH. 
we can see the main band, the midline of the Gaussian channel at $1,794.94. So we can see contrast here between the, the main band and the 21 exponential moving average around about the $1,700 level. This is going to be a key target for the bulls, I feel, for this weekly closed position. And the bears will want to keep it lower than the 200 EMA, potentially targeting out in the future towards the lower band at $1,398. So we can see the, the you know the target areas here for the bears for the bulls. Once again, guys, let us know in the comments down below where you think the 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 price is going to lie here for Ethereum come um, weekly close this week. So one last thing I will add on here, sorry, before we do leave the Ethereum charts, when we drop down to the daily charts, obviously it's going to be quite interesting as well. We can see that the daily 50 EMA is the one that's being tested just now. The daily 50 EMA coming at $1,626 with the price sitting above it at $1,631. So once again, we're going to see the bulls and bears fight this one out. It's going to be interesting to see. I do think the bears would like to bring it down lower than the 21 EMA, but we can see the fight just now on the daily close on the 50 EMA. Do keep an eye on these ones guys they will be very important i feel come daily and weekly close this week so third on the list is of course going to be xrp we cover xrp very regularly here and it's very you know intuitive to do so it's in very interesting levels just now where once again we can see the the fight that will take place this week we can see once again the 21 the 50 and the 200 emas on the chart here with all three being tested this week dropping low as 48 cent and pushing as high as the obviously the 52 cent area so we can see we have been monitoring this trend line for quite some time acting as support and resistance a test of this this week would take the price up to 57 cent which seems highly unlikely to do so we can concentrate on these emas that are currently sitting on the chart we have tested all three this week currently we are trading between the 50 and the 21 EMAs here so we can see once again the bears will want to bring the price lower than 50.78 50 cent and the bulls will want to bring it higher than 52.34 currently you'd obviously argue that you're potentially in a bit of a bearish state just now we are higher than the 50 we are higher than the 200 EMAs with the 21 sitting a bit higher in the charts here so we do have some very interesting levels playing out for XRP here on the daily chart uh, the weekly chart sorry when we come down to the daily chart we can once again see the fight that is taking place we are trading now higher than the 2150 and 200 emas overall they will be looking for this to close higher to give us the, bu the bullish narrative going forward we can take note of the e the stochastic rsi here on the daily is heavily overbought guys looking for that correction to the downside with the weekly oversold looking for the push to the upside so there is massive confluence here between the daily and the weekly um, positions between of the stochastics um for xrp bringing on its its gaussian channel once again guys we can see the gaussian channel higher band here at 56.51 cent looks highly unlikely to be hit would obviously give us a retest of this trend line the bears may want to bring it lower than the 45.96 cent but i do once again think that is highly unlikely to do so at the you know the, the state that the market is sitting in just now everything is looking for that continuation to the upside so we can see key levels here for the bears and the bulls we will turn the gaussian channel back off bring on some liquidity blocks and see if there's anything that kind of aligns to the looks we are at we can see all the liquidity grabbed within this area between the move between the 50 uh, the, the 200 ema and the 21 ema so we can see all this liquidity has been grabbed lower blocks sitting around about the 47 and 46 to 45 cent area with a block higher here around about 55 so we can see obviously the targets that the bears and the bulls will have pushing higher or lower to grab out this liquidity that is sitting but let us know your thoughts and your opinions where do you see xrp finishing off this week are we going to break higher than the 21 are we going to drop lower than the 20 uh, the 200 or are we going to pretty much stay where we are i think xrp is going to you know range sideways for a few weeks to come but i'm not expecting that to be the case we will obviously see some mass volatility i do think we are in line for some more volatility in the market it's quite exciting to watch just now but as always guys let us know what you think so next we will come on and have a look at Chainlink. Chainlink has been explosive recently. I'm sure many people have noticed this one and we can see many people taking advantage of this 104% push to the upside. Fantastic to see. But what we can see is pretty much clean rejection from the 200 EMA. 200 EMA coming here at $9.88.7. So we can see potentially a push one last time for XR, eh, for Chainlink. Apologies guys. For Chainlink to push up to 98 point seven cent no nine dollars eight to eight point seven cent 
Jeez. We can potentially see this push on up. We can obviously see the clean fight here between the bears and the bulls. It is simple as keeping higher or lower than this 200 EMA. It's going to be very interesting indeed to see where Chainlink can end itself up on. We can bring on the Gaussian channel and you know this is giving us the clear indication where they want this to be the upper band for the Gaussian channel at nine dollars 24 and a half cent we are pretty much trading on that upper band just now at nine dollars 22.8 so yes we can see the clear targets here for the bears and the bulls where they want this to be but i do think we have to take stark note what is going on right here the stochastic RSI overbought on a four hour, eight hour, one day and the one week time frame with the RSI here sitting at 64.7%. It is pretty high. Yes, it can go higher. Definitely. Most definitely can go higher. However, I do think a correction is likely to come here for Chainlink. When we come down to the daily chart, we can see obviously we do have quite the explosive move to the upside smart money concepts telling us that we have had the bullish change of character and now typically when we do see these bullish change of characters we tend to see a retracement of the price coming back down to test here where we could potentially see the price come back down to test the 50 the 200 and the 21 EMAs over the course of the next weeks. So yeah, with the state the stochastics are sitting in, the RSI is sitting so high, I do still believe there's very little volume coming in for it, um, Chainlink relative to the, the entire market. I do expect the correction to come, but that may, may just be the bear coming out in May. So overall, this weekly close, I think the fight will be here at the $9.24 area. Well, let us know guys where we're going to close here for Chainlink, higher or lower than this Gaussian channel upper band. And you know, once again, the, the EMA here, the 200 EMA at $9.88, I think will be a target for those bear, uh, those bills to try and push the price higher than. So now we will come over to the charts for Solana. Once again, we are using Binance for the data source for pretty much all of these. I think it will be for all of these today. We can see Solana once again, quite like um, Chainlink has had quite the push to the upside most recently. Potentially the bear market bottom is in for Solana at $8. I do see there is a possible structure for us to come down here. We are coming up back into this B wave retracement area. We have been watching for quite some time between $19 and $39. We're kind of ranging in between here, but we can see the fight that is going on here on the weekly charts. The 50 EMA here coming at $26.43. We are trading above that currently at $28.42. So we can see Initially, the, the, the fight that is in play here, the bulls wanted to keep it higher than the, the, the 50 EMA, the bears wanting to try and keep it lower. So we can see 26.43 is the key number that is in play here. When we bring on the Gaussian channel, once again, $27.71, this mean band for the Gaussian channel. You know, it's just another thing to keep our eyes on here. The bulls will want to try to close it higher than, the bears will want to try to close it lower than. So another interesting level we have to keep our eyes on here for Solana, where once again we can see liquidity, if there was any sitting in on the charts here, has all been grabbed in this last week, pushed to the upside. Taking note of the position of the stochastics and the RSI, pushing very quickly to the upper side towards the overbought area. We can see that the stochastic is sitting at 71% with the RSI at 60.65%, pushing up very quickly here. When we do look at the overall price appreciation that has went on, it's a 75% push to the upside over the course of what, what we're talking here, three, six weeks. So it's fantastic to see. But when you consider the, the relative movements of the stochastic and the RSI, I'm not overly impressed by you know the moves that have been on, bringing on the volumes that have came in once again. It's not overly impressive. I don't think there's a massive amount of volume coming into the space, pushing these projects to the positions that they are in. When we come down to the daily chart, obviously we were tracking the potential moves here with this upper trend line. We have pushed on through it, closed higher than it. And currently we are coming back down just now to test this trend line. Currently $28.42. It's going to be very interesting once again to see how we close above or below this trend line when we zoom out on the charts. We can see this trend line has been carrying on for quite some time. Yes, I was looking for a close yesterday below this trend line. We have pushed up. We have closed higher than. But currently, we are coming back down to test this once again. I do think we have to keep our eyes on this one. Taking note once again of the stochastics. Heavily overbought. Looking for a correction to the downside. Perhaps to come back down towards equilibrium around about $22.5. Yes, we do have quite an intense fight once again here for Solana come this weekly close. And lastly today, guys, we will have a quick look at Cardano's era. I don't think there's too much of a fight going on here, but I did see some questions asked about what was going on with 
Cardano's ADA's price action, it's, you know, it's been relatively flat considering the moves everything else has made in the markets. When we consider we come back six weeks, the price, you know, it's 11% move to the upside with a high of 13.9%. So considering the moves of the likes of Solana and Chainlink, Cardano's ADA has been relatively flat. We can see that the 21 EMA currently sitting here at 28 cent 0.28. This would obviously be the target here if the, the bears were going to win this fight, they would want to bring it higher. However, we can appreciate, you know, it's not an overly exciting close here for ADA. We are stuck in, I would say, quite a bit of a range here. If we could bring it back over to this kind of level here, between 23 cent and 28 cent, we're totally stuck in a range here. It is just trading sideways, which I don't mind at all. We can obviously take note of the stochastics and the RSI very much in the mid level here on the weekly charts. When we come down to the daily chart, we can see that the, the stochastic has pushed to the upside very, very quickly here for Cardano's ADA with just a 10% increase in price. So to me, it's not overly bullish. We can see there is no volume coming into the price action for ADA. Overall, I am targeting out a move down to, down to around 22.95 cent to as low as 21.84. We can see on this daily close, the bulls and the bears once again will have a fight on their hands of this 50 EMA coming at 25.79. Close higher than that. Eh, sorry, 25.57. A close higher than that, you know, it's in the bull's favour. A close lower than this one, it's in the bear's favour. And I do personally think we could see the price close lower than this one. But guys, it was just a bit of a different video today, having a look at a few things that I look at on a Sunday. Most typically every Sunday, I look at these kind of fights to see where the markets are sitting, you know, where the bulls, where the bears are going to try and pull projects to. But let us know your thoughts and your opinions of, you know, everything we have covered today, the fights that are taking place. But overall, who is likely to win the weekly close this week? Will it be the Bulls? Will it be the Bears? What is your sentiment, your narrative on the market as a whole currently? Are we in a very much bullish state that you know we're off to the races? Or are we still bearish? Are you looking for the prices all to come back? And then one last thing I would like to ask of you all today. Are we in a bull market? Are we still in a bear market? The... It feels like the narrative has changed quickly because we have seen prices push up. And yes, we have to appreciate the prices have pushed up. However, structures are still in place on the macro scale. I do still expect lower prices personally. These are obviously my thoughts, my opinions, um, everything I've covered in today's video. Overall, I do see, I do still see the markets waiting to bleed out everything that is going on in you know the wider landscape. So yeah, something a bit different for you guys today. Let us know what you think. Smash the like button, subscribe, tap on the bell before you leave. Always, uh, We always appreciate when you guys do do that for us. If you are going to trade any of these weekly closes, please do be safe. Have a nice tight stop loss. Make, um, you know, make some great gains. Stay safe in the space, but please be very careful if you are. It's going to be very volatile indeed. But until next time, guys, please do have a very nice day.